last year as well as this year. And they are out there in the park right now. We were scooping up stuff. We've been there since 9 o'clock helping them. Now we've moved over to here. We had two things going on at the same time. Our own kids are primarily here. They help there a little bit, but then we had to get prepared for what's happening behind us. You can probably see that on the camera. Well, we're going to probably begin to get tired of hearing me. I sure know that already. Looks like the gentleman who's been, uh, oh, that's the camera. You know on TV, dude. What do you think about that? This is live radio, and that's television. I don't know. Paul, is he in the camera? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's tell us who you are, your company, and what kindness you have unveiled for this neighborhood today, both in the park as well as here. So this is the mic. Take oh, okay. It yeah, yeah my, it. Na my name is... Oh, okay. Microphone. Uh, microphone. Uh, my name is Rick Pagula. Uh, I'm with Steve's Plumbing. We're down here working with the Flint River Watershed Coalition. Yep, yep. And while we're down here, he said it needs some help uh, to help clean up Flint. Yeah. Make it beautiful. Uh, the park looks good, too. So, Indeed. Uh, and what this is called a front loader. What yeah, it's a backhoe. We're back using the front loader, loader. Okay. to clean up the debris. Sure. Uh, it does the work of like a hundred guys, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's life simple. <laughs> and you did the same thing last year. Yeah. Watch yeah. your head here. This guy yeah. may not know that we're not insured. Okay. Yeah, we were, yeah, we were finding, uh, lot, we were finding they had a lot of shingles and construction debris down by Thread Lake. So right. we brought the, the backhoe last yeah. year and uh, got, we got a major bulk of all the construction debris that's been dumped yeah. there over the years. And, so. and this year, it's, it's much better looking because of the uh. efforts. I, did, I failed to mention the efforts of the Genesee County Parks Commission. Oh, yeah. They have come in and made a major difference in this location. Yeah, I checked it out before the snow melted, you know, to see what the site looked like. And it looked it looked great. I mean, you can see where the county parks have been yeah. working hard on it. So, so we, we congratulate the parks, specifically Amy McMillan as their director. Yeah. And of course, uh, Rebecca Fedewa is here today with us with the... Uh, uh, with the uh, Flint Watershed Coalition. In fact, she's right down on the waterfront right now. Yeah. So we thank those organizations are helping our neighborhood, our city, our county yeah. tremendously. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can see the difference every year. Okay. You know? Well, I sincerely thank you, and I'm going to shake your left hand. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll give you the mic, mic back. Yeah. Just thank you very kindly. Okay. Give us a plug for your company again. Yeah, Steve's uh, Plumbing. Steve's Plumbing, yep. Yeah, been in business, uh, let me see, uh, 63 years. Okay, here in wow. Chelsea County. Okay, well, very good. All right, that'll be twenty nine ninety five for that commercial, sir. All right. <laughs> right checks in the mail. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Okay. Kids that have been working here, come on in. Who's here? Who's here? All of a sudden, they run away. Here comes Giovanni, who's done absolutely nothing, but he's the first of the microphone. Giovanni, what's your name? Is it Giovanni? It's Giovanni. Oh, okay. Talk to somebody. Hold this thing. That's the radio. That's the camera. Say something. What grade you in? I'm in seventh grade and I go to International Academy of Flint. Are you married yet? No. Oh, I'll be doggone. Okay. <laughs> well, let's see. You live in the neighborhood, don't you? Yes. And you help us with our food distributions, too, don't you? Yes. Okay. And you're in what grade? Seventh. Seventh, right? Yeah, okay. Where were you yesterday at about 3.30? I was bowling. How many pins you knocked down? You got at least one strike. I saw that. Okay, all right. You like that program? You're going to be bowling every Friday night till the middle of June, the last day of school, if that program's over. So thank you very much for participating. And you know what? You're getting better. Well, thank you. And I'm serious about that, folks. You're getting better. Giovanni, thank you for helping this morning. Appreciate that. Take care of yourself. You're okay, welcome. you betcha. Who's next? Who's next? Would this big handsome guy be? Okay, here comes big. I've never seen you before. Hey, yesterday, was it yesterday, Thursday, you were dressed to kill, partner. I'm telling you, you look really super. Tell these folks who you just might be today, and also what you're doing and anything else that's on your mind. Okay. Uh, I'm Chip on Cox. I was just hoping. Uh, And you live here too? Yeah. Okay. Are you related to this guy here? Mm, yeah. I'm afraid you are. <laughs> Some things you can't change bad luck. <laughs> and you, uh, listen, let me throw a question about your career. Because you were in career night the other night, dressed absolutely stunningly. And uh, of those careers that we had there, what interested you most? Tell uh, me that. The electrician. Did you? You talked to the electrician, the, the, the folks from a union hall. I can't remember their numbers and such. But that's good to hear. Why Why do you have that interest in, in electrical and electrician work? Um, I want, I've always wanted to work on houses. Okay. 
All right, well, that's great. Now, again, Mott College has a great uh, program for you in a variety of areas of skill. So maybe you'll consider Mott? I don't know, I'm not sure, because you need good background, of course, academically, as well as in the actual hands-on stuff. So you give that some thought. I'm, go I'm going to call Mr. Rodriguez. That's the gentleman that was here for us. I'm going to tell him about you, and maybe he can put some special time in with you. All right. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that very much. Okay. All right, uh, who, who else is here? Who else is here that wants to talk? Okay, oh my goodness, here's Mr. Shy. Hi, Miss. Where's your shades today? No, I call this dude Hollywood. He's always got. Oh, here they are. Put them on, Mom. Put them on, Hollywood. Put them on. Come on. Let's show these folks how Hollywoodish you look. Give them a quick shot. Oh my goodness, the girls are screaming. I can hear them all over the country. Marcel, is that your name? And what are you doing here? And what have you done? And tell us about your career. What you were looking like in your black suit the other night. Tell us what your career thing is. But a little bit about what's going on here now, sir. Hold, hold it, hold it. That's it. Well, we got here at about 9 o'clock this morning. We were working on this and cleaning up. The other night, I was at career night and I wanted to be a state police officer. Okay. And did you get to meet Officer Trooper Kramer? Yes. Very good. Okay. Because uh, your older brother was in the, the uh, leadership police program. Camp. Right? Yeah, police camp. That's your fact. He won the leadership. Okay. Um, is your mother here today? Yes. Because I can't see her. <laughs> that's a that's a joke we have because she's a little bit diminutive in terms of height. <laughs> We're going to call her over. Marcel, thank you. I'm glad you're here today. And thanks a lot. And you do look stunning in your shades. Mom, come on over and brag about your kids. Oh, do you want to put them in the Which side of the camera you want to be on, Mom? You ain't seen me do I see you got no hairdo. Looking good there, Mom. Okay. <laughs> Mary, take the camera. T take it to the phone. Tell us about your sons and, uh, and uh, maybe some personal things in your life related to you and why you talk about that. Well, I've been busy, but uh, they've been busy as well. working. I just take care of, and um, they work hard. I'm so proud of these boys with the school schedule and the volunteering to get the city of Flint cleaned up. Okay. They, um, they do a good job. So. They do indeed. Okay. And they look really good. And what did they do Thursday night to help us with the event? Uh, they did a lot. They carried things. And yeah, they carried things and um, for the vendors. They really impressed uh, the vendors that were. Uh, Probably some of some of them have been there the first time, and very courteous and helpful, and they did quite a bit. And are we doing okay with an academic mom? Yes, they are. They are very uh, concerned with my boys as far as academics and making sure they're getting the necessary tools to get them along for the next year. So. Um, I'm glad about that because I, I, I'm very far behind in the new technology and curriculum that's uh, on board. So. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mom. Appreciate that very much. Paul, oh, how are we doing today, buddy? I'm good, man. I'm as, good. As a matter of ritual, you know, you got to you got to get over here and talk about some stupid event you got coming up. Why would I do that? Uh, because I want to see, I want to promote it for you. A we stupid like you event. We like Juneteenth celebration. Listen, I come think, on over. I think I take offense to you calling it a stupid event. <laughs> you know, I think quite the opposite. Go think, ahead. Go ahead. I think I'm gonna have to hurt you. Oh wow. Yeah. So if you guys don't see Art for a couple of days, you know he's over in Hurley. <laughs> about the Juneteenth celebration, right. 25th annual yep, Juneteenth yep. celebration here in Flint, starting the 16th of June with the Youth Freedom Dinner and G-Card, Mrs. Maloney, and the Seabot crew do a great job setting that up over at G-Card. Okay, I'm going to get it wrong. Community-based partner organizations. Okay. Or something similar to that. Like that. I know all those words are there. They might not be in the end order. That's right. <laughs> they do a great job with the Youth Freedom Dinner. We're always looking for support for that. Then we're going to start uh, the like Thursday on the 18th with the Urban Family Dodgeball there on Thursday yep, Street. Yep, we close yep, off Thursday yep. Street, have a car wash, and people all shine up in the parade, and the Dodgeball there on Thursday Street. Then we're going to start about 6.30, 7 o'clock and go until... Yeah. Okay. It should be a good time. Really and sure. what's the cost for all this? Well, you know, there's different costs. If you want to uh, fill the uh, Dodgeball team, we're looking for $2 a person. 
have a maximum of 10 people on your team. We're looking for two kids that's under 18, and at least one woman who will be on the team. We're going to get the family part from there. So that's affordable. What we've done this year is we've got our church outreach. Or what we're calling it is a citywide church outreach meet and greet. You know, we figured out it would take almost yeah, two and a half years. Yeah, that's a fantastic. You that's know what I mean? That is such a, it's easy to figure out, but it's astounding if you really lay it down. I think it's amazing. Mark, can we have you? Somebody's looking for a church home. It would take them almost ten and a half years to visit a church on a Sunday. Who's going to do that? Nobody's going to do that. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. But we just thought it'd be a great idea to get as many churches to set up tables down in Riverbank Park so you can shake hands with the pastor, meet the first lady, maybe even hear the choir sing. You know, we're down with any of that. And what we've done this year is, is we're taking away the cost. There's no cost for the churches to set up. They have to bring their own tables, their own chairs, their own tents. But we're not going to charge at all to meet. Um, and of course, we've got the Juneteenth Parade. We've got big news this year. Uh, the route has changed. We're starting at Atwood. We're at, uh, no, we're going to be at Kettering. Kettering, Kettering, that's right. Kettering University. That's right. We're going to come up University yeah. Avenue and Street. Yeah. Always looking for folks on the parade. Maybe on that Saturday we can be down there doing something live. I don't see why not. It might be a little early, but yeah, we'll be there. We'll, I'll be in the park for no, sure. No, Saturday at 11.30. That, that's right. Too early. Well, we don't open up till 12, but like I said, I'll be in the park. Folks we can will be come coming. down. Folks will be coming. Yeah, well, then okay. we can give another push to get sure. folks there. Sure, so sure, let's sure. plan on that. On the, on the, I'm not against it. That'd be the 20th. 20th. Okay, 20th. Okay, 20th. We'll have live entertainment. Right there. Right. Okay, we're good. That's a deal. And I'll only charge you, what is it, $29.95? $29.95. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Guys, come on out and join the building. Absolutely. Right. Paul, we'll do that Saturday program right there to promote your activity and sure. get people to come to it. Mark Smith, you're in our neighborhood. Get over here. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing this, well. This, ladies and gentlemen, doing? is the master of disaster, the one, the only, the Mark Smith. <laughs> Mark, where you been lately? What uh, have you been anywhere near Toledo? Oh, Hold yes, the mic. yes. Thank you. Oh, yes, I went to spend a week up in Toledo training on the new Red Cross disaster combo gear. That was quite an exciting experience. Today we're catching up on some details with the Citizens Radio Patrol, making a couple of contacts up on uh, 3800 North Saginaw in just a few minutes for the Stop the Violence rally. And I do not know where Mr. Winslow, there is Mr. Winslow, there is our update. Here you go, Art. I miss everything you said. Absolutely. I've never You're been so off. lucky. I've never been so lucky. Better oh, off. watch out, here comes a train. Here comes a train, ladies and gentlemen. This is the slowest moving train in North America. Volgaberg, put it in second gear. Okay, here we go. <laughs> hey, it's great what's going up here on South Saginaw Street right now. We're across the street from my brother. He lives right straight across the street from here. And he is out there watching what's going on. He's making sure everything gets all cleaned up. I see him giving a lot of directions, but he's not really in a lot of work. Anyway, we want to thank everybody that came out here today to help us because you know what? Without you people, we don't have a clean neighborhood. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and Larry lives about, what, uh, 300 yards from over at, or maybe even less. You didn't ride him. You walked over here. Or what? Okay, you, okay, all right. Larry doesn't walk anywhere. I know <laughs> that was a funny thing. Who wants to be on anybody? Mr. Wright, are you good? No. Anybody from that crew? Anybody? No, but yo, yo, knuckleheads. <laughs> Well, who hasn't been on? Marquise, come on! Marquise, this is another one of Mary Chandler's kids. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. I'm, I'm looking for you. Good to see you. This I young man really looked sharp the other night. And your mother talked a little bit about you. But anyway, you're the... Well, I'm just going to ask you a question. I'm going to you how you are. Just simply talking. But tell us why you're here and what's going on in your own words. And you might want to think about what you did Thursday. And also, uh, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> My name is Marquis Sanders. Camera. <laughs> we are here at the plant and still works. How many building? minutes? We're cleaning up the that much? The side of the building with all the wood and debris and stuff. Been here since about nine this morning. And um, boy, I know you guys did a lot of work, but once this big thing gets here, woo, yeah. it really cleans up for us. This is another really, really good Monday morning, I hope. 
What are we doing? Why is all that back there, Mark? He's still working on it. He's getting all of it from back there. Then? Well, he's just going to pick it up and dump it. Okay, that is going to go in there then. We're trying to get that thing to smash down and close all the way. All right. That's the big dumpster that the city of Flint gave us, thanks to Raul Gar uh, Garcia. He provided us with this, uh, I would think it's a 30-foot, probably, dumpster, which is filled up completely almost. We're trying to get some more in. Marquis, uh, Trooper Kramer was here the other night. Yes, you he were was. happy to him, see him, and he was happy to see you. So, uh, but something happened last summer with you, didn't it? Yeah, what I went to the M5, the Michigan State, and this leadership. Oh, you're throwing these big words at me now, my goodness. And what happened there? Uh, a lot. Well, give me one. You came back with something. A leadership award. Okay. How? Why? Because I'm a good leader. <laughs> <laughs> There's no humbleness in this family, none whatsoever. Okay. Very good. And we're very proud of you, sir. Thank you. And you're going to continue to become perhaps a? U.S. Marshal. Okay. And, but we tried, and I really mean this, yeah. Arnold Patrick is a U.S. Marshal and officer. He has been so unfortunately very busy with recent crime activities. So homicides and things. He said, Art, if I can make it, I'll make it. But we're so busy right now, I don't know that I can. Because, but I'm going to have him and you meet independently because I want you to talk to a real U.S. Marshal. Well, I know you've had an right Yeah, I did indeed. And he was very busy, extremely. That was probably, certainly in law enforcement, on the survey that we did with kids, that came up more frequently than any of them. It's so publicized, yeah. that's why. But uh, that, uh, he was very nice, and we already met with one of our kids regarding her sincere intention to being an FBI officer. Guess who that was? But that was Mr. Ben, driving by like a lunatic on the car on the back. All right, let me take that mic from the side. Marquise, thank you for all you do for us. Thank you. All right, let's see, what do we got here? We got, um, probably got me to talk. <laughs> I've run out of gas. International Academy of Flint folks at 2820 South Saginaw. Uh, we just completed, uh, of course, career night, college and career night. We had a lot of folks. We had 50-some careers represented, 13 colleges. All the military was there. I think one did not come, could not come. But we were absolutely loaded with uh, things to do for kids to, to look at and make decisions about. Is this a major time in their life to begin at least thinking about some career opportunity? We certainly support that at the school. We, prior to that, we finished kindergarten roundup. We got, a, oh, I think almost two classes filled right now for um, a kindergarten roundup. There is still, we'll probably fill five classes this year, four for sure, five likely as possible. So there's time. I'm not putting a rush on your families, grandparents, and, and others, and parents. Uh, but, you know, don't wait till August. You, you might be disappointed. Don't wait. Please get this out of the way. Just come on in and enroll your child it takes a few minutes to do that if you can't wait we'll give you the paperwork you fill it out at home we'll need the typical records and shot records all that stuff that every school will request but get it out of the way it's worth your while to do that and clearly without question we have an excellent program so please give that some thought we had great grandparents days here um, about two weeks ago, maybe three at the most, but two for sure, and uh, we had, uh, uh, let's see, we had uh, about 220 grandparents, I think, that attended those two days. Uh, it was a great, great opportunity, a great time for our little ones, K through three, we did that program. So think about that, and upcoming now, oh, here, we got to give a plug, got to give a plug to Saturday, May 9th, Saturday, May 9th, we are going to be at uh, our school, where we'll have an arts and crafts show. Did, I, did you find me a guest? Hot dog! <laughs> Come on in, baby! Looks like you're from Otisville, huh? Yeah. Well, very good. Okay, all right, very good. All right, and uh, on Saturday, May 9th, are you an arts and crafts person? Yes, I love arts. We're going to have an arts and crafts show at our school. Great. 10 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. So uh, if you're interested, certainly coming and shop, everybody, for sure. But if you are a vendor, come on, give us a call, 605,000, that's school number, 605,000, 605,000, and then we will uh, put you in touch with the right folks to sign up. We've got about seven minutes. And yeah, tell me, I've never seen you before in my life. Wink, wink, wink. <laughs> but anyway, tell us, <laughs> tell us who you are, why you're here in the marvelous city. Uh -huh.
Oh. This is live radio here. Okay. That's you're being videotaped for Channel 17 Comcast on Monday night. Okay. Here you go. Talk away, girl. Thank you. Tell them who you are. Go ahead Hi. with that. I'm uh, Dab Kalula. I'm here with Stace Plumbing. Oh, Elf yeah. Elf you, you, that's your buddy right there. That's yes. your baby. Kevin Duncan on the backhoe. And um, we're out here with Lent River Watershed Coalition. And um, a lot of us are out here on um, Firms Collision, my and um, uh, Marilyn Shackley. Shackley uh, products are great. And we're just out here with a bunch of wonderful people yeah. doing a lot of cleanup. And the, the weather's kind of cool, but you stay warm, but you keep moving. Oh, sure. And um, it's just a pleasure, and it makes you feel good. Um, we love to do it. We're going to continue doing it. We were here it. last year, too. I, I certainly remember you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I was here last yeah. year. Um, we'll keep doing it now, and come on out and join us. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Between last year and this year, what's your reaction to the park? Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. It is beautiful to go out to the park and walk the trails. And every year it looks, it looks better and better. So um, thank you and come and join us next year. Thank Bye -bye. You. you are so you are so worthy. I love this. I don't have to pull words from you. What a blessing. Come back every week. Okay. <laughs> okay well, that's thank great. you. You but thank you, Paul, for searching her out. She's a wonderful guest. Wow. That is Mr. Bush, you wanna come out and look funny? I've been out before. Okay, he's been out before. Oh, good Hello, Paul. How are you today, sir? Bush, stand over here and let yes, people sir. see how actually okay. ugly you are. I am. Okay. I look just like my mama. <laughs> Say something. I'll have to ask you yes, a question. Sir. Ask you me a question. Okay. Your own. Hi, Bush. What uh, have you been doing today? Oh, man. I've been down by Thread Creek um, getting tires and lift your hats. Lift my hats. Yes. I've been down by Thread Creek uh, taking tires out of the creek and uh, getting bottles and paper and some kind of rubber, man. I had about those 300 pounds of rubber that I had to put up a trail that made my arm so tired. So you're going to rub me tonight? <laughs> I'm in bad shape. Read my lips. No. <laughs> no. Okay, well, maybe next time you can help me carry it because it was pretty heavy. Yeah, I, I lost track of it. I didn't know where you were. Oh, I was about 300 yards from that pavilion. Yeah, carrying, I'm telling you, it had to be three to 500 pounds of rubber. I don't know how it got down by the creek there. And then, of course, all the bottles and the plastic bags and stuff down by the creek. Uh, spent two hours doing that, and then now I'm here to pick up David. Okay. So, uh, Very good. Okay. David's in basketball? No, David's in detention. detention. <laughs> oh! That's do. not so good. That's not so good. <laughs> but we do have that at our school for those that might need a little encouragement. That's right. Okay. What's that ugly thing? Well, more excessive over celebration. Over there. Over there. That's why he's in detention. Is that right? Yes. Come on over here, Oklahoma. Get in the Oklahoma. picture. What? What is this? Yeah, we got a daughter. Absolutely. Yeah, this is your head man. I'm the phone yeah, and talking to him. This planet out is doing work of honor, people. I would say this planet is doing the work of honor, people. I'm kind of blown away by how much stuff is accumulated over here. This is, uh, this is a big undertaking. What a kudos to these people uh, for bringing this yeah, planet over here. Yeah, I've, had, I've had them on the radio. They need a certain guys applause for doing this. This would be a 10 year yeah. project uh, if it was just relegated to weekends. So I, I commend you on getting that done. By the way, I attended your career night the other night. I was blown away, but it must have been 50, 40 to 50 different uh, career people, uh, different setups uh, that showed up from school to law enforcement to pediatricians to veterinarians. I mean, you had a vast array. Of I, I commend you on that. It's very educational. Thank if you, someone that would have just popped in and saw that, would have been blown away with the uh, magnitude of um, variety. Okay. So I do commend you on that. Well, I'm going to turn this back over to you. Very good. Um, thanks, Kurt. Appreciate those kind of words. I know you mean them, and thank you. Yeah, we'll do all kinds of stuff for kids in our school. I mean, that's what we're about. That's what every school is about, and I'm sure we'll do all they can in that area. We just want to make sure we do it. And obviously, here comes. Hurry! Uh, a gentleman from the city just arrived, and I was, hurry! And we, we've only got a. He doesn't know what's going on here. This is. 
Hey, I, this here's Mr. Arnold with the city of Flint. You help get this rascal here. Joe, come on and take over and talk. What? This is the live radio you're on, and that's the te that's the camera, <laughs> well, channel 17. So okay. thank you for getting this dumpster here. Talk. Hello. Who are you? Who do you work for? Hey, this is Joel Arnold. I uh, work for the city <laughs> of Flint in uh, Blight Management. Go ahead, keep talking. Oh, okay. okay. And, and you're uh, just recently hired, thankfully. Yeah, just recently and hired. You're Double in the staffing in the department. So. And where is Raul today, sir? Raul is currently out doing some boarding on houses on uh, Stockdale. We were up in Civic Park earlier to okay. some overdrawing on some dumping that was going on up there. So this is, of course, uh, the city didn't do this for us. We arranged this privately to get this for us. Uh, Yep, yep, we just assisted in getting a dumpster out here. Yeah, like without that. without the city and Raul and now yourself, Joe, we are so happy. Uh, this lot of 25 pounds is kind of better. These kids are getting kind of hot. Oh, they Yeah. Face the camera and uh, let's see. Where are you headed? You drove by here 200 miles yeah. an hour. Luckily, you looked in and you saw me wait. You stopped. Where are you headed? Where are you headed? Now I'm heading over to Vietnam Veterans Park to make sure that this is clean up the hill as well. And they're doing a bunch of sites up there. We're at Thread Lake right now. Yeah, there's another one. We might stop over there, but we're checking. There's about close to 20 one sites minute. around the city today that are doing different cleanups. So we're trying to make sure that people don't know that we're about to close off. And so thank you for responding so quickly. That's why I kept hollering. We're off the air in about 30 seconds. Thanks for running like a big bear. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Candace, I hardly spoke to you today, but uh, we're so glad that you are allowing us to be on. We're down to a few seconds, Paul. Is that correct? Okay. okay come on in, folks, for the yoo hoo 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 yeah. Come on in for the yoo hoo There's only two of us. There's only two yoo hoo in here. Okay. <laughs> Joel has no idea what's about to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate that very much. Are you sitting near a computer looking at a blog, walking a dog, or just sitting there in the fog? Well, if, wherever you are, look at somebody and say, Woo-wee! That is some kind.